welcome back everyone and if you are new here thank you so much for joining in my name is christina i live in michigan with my husband and two kids i love to create cleaning content mixed in with a little bit of organizational and decluttering videos as well as easy simple meals and if that's something that you're interested in you might want to consider subscribing i would love to have you It was a very dreary, rainy day here in Michigan, and although my first thought was to curl up on the couch under a nice fuzzy blanket, drinking my cup of coffee, watching Desperate Housewives, I decided that I should probably be productive and do a little bit of cleaning around the house. Going into this, I had an idea of some things that I wanted to accomplish, but I wasn't going to put any pressure on myself to get everything done. I wanted to make this as relaxing for myself as it hopefully is for you and do whatever felt right. You know how you have those days where you have a checklist and a million things on your to-do list and you're under a real time crunch? I did not want this to be one of those days. I wanted to go at my own pace and enjoy the cleaning process. And while I was over here, I noticed there were lots of hand prints on the windows. There were lots of face prints on the windows, if you can believe that. But I just wanted to take the time and wash these. I don't do it very often, so now was as good a time as any.
Now moving over to the living room, I just needed to pick up a few things and fold that load of laundry that's sitting on my couch. I love that while I was cleaning, I was able to hear all the rain hitting the windows in the house. Just the most peaceful, calming sound. There were lots of crumbs both in the living room and the kitchen. I wanted to mop the floors, but first I had to vacuum. I love to mop. It's actually on my top three favorite chores to do. I just find it to be very calming and extremely satisfying. It's been a while since either room has been mopped, so I thought today was a perfect day to get it done. I feel like I'm always in a hurry with everything that I do in life, and this goes especially for cleaning, and I've noticed that when I edit too, I tend to really speed things up and do a lot of speed cleans for you guys, so I hope that this brings you a little bit of calm, and I hope that you enjoy this type of slower pace cleaning.
packet of banana nut muffin mix in my cabinet and I've been meaning to use it. I thought today was such a great day for it. It smelled up the whole house. It smelled amazing. But I'm really the only one that enjoys it, so I kind of just made it for myself and enjoyed it after I was done cleaning with a little bit of coffee. This ended up being a very flat banana nut loaf, but that's okay, it still ended up tasting really good. Everything feels so much cozier with candles, and if you've been here before, you know that when I have finished cleaning a space, I love to light candles. The house smelled so good with all the candles and the banana nut bread in the oven. I'm just giving you a quick overview of everything before I head up to my master bedroom and tidy that up. Here's the view out my master bedroom window. It's very gloomy, but it makes the inside feel that much more cozy, especially with the lamps being the only source of lighting. There really wasn't that much to do in here but to make the bed, pick up a few items, and take the laundry downstairs. And at this point the bread was done, so I was going to head downstairs, enjoy my nice clean house with the candles lit, enjoy my cup of coffee with my flat banana nut bread.